Good afternoon. It's a beautiful fall day here in Seattle. We're going to go over some stretches today because as I was going up these stairs, I thought, you know what? We should be reminding everyone about doing their stretches before and after they exercise. So we're going to talk about the four stretches that I think are the most key and they are magic because they will loosen up your low back, they will loosen up your legs, they will keep everything stretched out, they will help you be injury free. It's fantastic. So the four stretches are quad stretch, hamstring, hip flexor and butt stretch, okay? We're gonna start with our quad stretch and that's your basic runner stretch. Now keep in mind, when we do stretches, we wanna hold them for at least 30 seconds. You can do more, but definitely not less. I'm gonna go in and out of them real quickly just for demonstration purposes, but just so you know, when you do go through these, make sure you're holding them. Okay, runner stretch. So we're back like this, okay? I'm gonna pop out of the picture here for a minute. But you are holding your ankle, pulling towards your butt muscle in a nice runner stretch. Keep your body nice and upright. And one of the tricks for this one is to tighten your butt and tuck it under and that pulls the stretch into the front of the leg. Okay, so that's your quad stretch. Hamstring stretch. Now your hamstrings are located in the back, either your thigh, so that's where you want to feel this stretch. And you simply want to find a step or a stool bench, brick, something to put your heel up on. Now when you put your heel up on something, you want to put it up there, have your toes pointing straight up, and we're going to lean forward. Now the trick with that stretch is that when you lean forward, you don't want to just roll down like this. You want to keep your chest upright and just lean with a nice straight spine. That's going to pull the stretch real heavily into the back of the thigh, which is where you want it. Okay, that's your hamstring stretch. Next is our butt stretch. And this is one of my favorites because everybody's hips get really tight. And so you want to find a bench or something to sit on. You can even lean against a tree, whatever works for you. But what you do is cross ankle over and you're coming down, pushing a little pressure on that knee and leaning forward keeping that chest up as well. So that is your butt stretch. And if it's really tight for you to do that, you don't have to push down on the knee. You can just do the lean forward part. Now the lunge stretch or hip flexor stretch, we're trying to reach deep into these hips. These are key players for the low back, key players for any kind of exercise. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping them well stretched. They're hard to find though. So when you're in your lunge stretch, you want to make sure you are feeling it right in here. That's right in here. You're going to do a lunge. Lunge forward. I am upright. The minute I go forward, I lose the stretch. Stay upright. Come down into a lunge. Back heel is mostly on the ground. And if you cannot feel a stretch into your hip here, uh, you want to reach up toward the sky and draw a line across the sky toward the opposite side. The arm that is extended is the same as the leg that's extended. That'll give you pull from both ends of the hip flexor. That's a hip flexor stretch. So we talked about quad stretch, hamstring, butt, hip flexor. Those four are, as I said, magical ways of unlocking the low back, tightness in the legs, so if you have stiffness in your back or you have tight muscles in your legs at all, this is great. For you desk jockeys in front of a computer all the time, these stretches are key multiple times a day. But for, for, for sure at least once a day and then sandwich these stretches on either side of any exercise. Again, when you're doing your stretches, hold them for 30 seconds and have a great day.